four guys who want to steal their college's first edition Darwin and Charles Audubon books, and then the chaos ensues. Time. You did it. Time. Huh? That's it. Did you, did you like that or no? <laughs>Tell me why, why this story, why you wanted to tell uh, it. I think initially it just seemed like a, a great and bizarre sort of caper. For me it was a way into talking about this slightly lost group of young men who were searching in all the wrong places for an identity. What was something you took away from this film in particular? Learned how to be a bit more present as well. You had to really learn how to tell the truth a little bit more because he knows what it looks like, you know? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, that's what I learned, just to be a bit more true and, and present. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. To, to do less, I think, something that I took away from, from this for sure. I mean, for me, I'd never worked on something where the stakes, you know, became, you know, so high at a certain point. So, like, Bart kind of gave us, like, you know, the sky being the limit inside of a character with, a, with an ensemble. Pitches online for this movie it mentioned, like, these guys think their life is a movie, I guess is sort of how it was described on the Sundance site. We got caught up watching so many movies, yeah. you know? Mm -hmm. So, like, to get themselves hyped up, to pull off the heist, they'd watch all these heist movies, like Ocean's Eleven, all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. I don't know if they really thought they were in a movie, but that's where they're getting their uh, info from, yeah. you know?